Ready, go. Go. I'll take another one. Okay, ready, go. So let's see what's happening here. Um, so during the back swing, mm -hmm. you tend to bring the arms quite back here. Yeah. And then also uh, on the way down, essentially this is a whole body turn like this. Uh -huh. So bring it back here and then just to try to hit the ball with your strength. Uh, I'm uh, impressed with uh, your level of fitness. <laughs> and you're really strong. Okay, again, take a look at this from here. So what happens is, um, as you bring your hands back here, uh -huh. the arms back here, on the way down, you are moving the uh, sliding body first yeah. and then try to hit the ball here. Uh -huh. yeah. That's it, what I'm doing now. Yeah, it's because uh, the arms are going back quite a bit. Okay. So your back swing is really flat yeah. and quite uh, backward. So I want more, more mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so uh, basically on the way down, you try to hit the ball with the, your strength. With my, with my chest, my, mm -hmm. my, okay. So we need to um, engage your lower body more but at the same time, you have to get away from uh, this backward motion during okay. the back swing. So uh, the, those two are the main ones that we need to work on okay. today. Good. So that uh, on the way down, you really you know, let your arms and club go and hit the ball. Judging from your impact, it's uh, somewhat inconsistent. Yeah. Mm. And then, so you need to improve the consistency by changing the way you start the down swing. Because your body is... Uh, Sliding this way yeah. and then try to hit the ball this way. Yeah. It's hard to actually maintain a consistent impact uh -huh. okay. So that's what I have seen a lot um, yeah. uh, With the you know typical uh, golfers. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, Let's start with the um, Engaging your low body more. Okay. So we'll use the kettlebell first. Okay. So let's uh, rest your club here right. Since you are strong, I'm going to use a uh, it is a 15 pound okay. kettlebell. So hold it uh, with your palms facing forward. Okay. okay. So stand on the, on the plates. Yeah. Hold that way. And I know you are strong, but <laughs> relax your arms. Okay. Relax your arms, relax your shoulders. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just to try to let it swing, easy swing. Instead of force the swing, it's a let, uh, let it swing. At, this, at the same time, try to shift your pelvis laterally more, okay? So, swing, swing. Make the motion a bit bigger so that um, you can time everything correctly. More that way? Yeah. But in doing this, not, uh, do not use the arms, okay. just the lady swing. So let's go a bit uh, more further down. So lean forward a bit more. Mm -hmm. Really relax the arms and they hang it, hang them here, and then let it swing. Ah, you are using the upper body only. So try to move right and left, and then with that try oh, to swing. Yeah, try to swing the the arms and kettlebell. More like that. Yeah, more. I w I want you to move uh, your your pelvis more laterally. Really. So let's keep the stance a bit wider. Let's see. Let's keep the stance wider. And then have active pelvis motion back and forth. And then try to swing it back and forth. I think you're leaning too much. <laughs> so at least you can go a bit higher. Yeah, yeah they, will, they will put a lot of burden on the back. I am 71. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I just realized that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, th that's good, that's good. So uh, swing and oh, try. So I like the momentum of my pelvis. Yeah, so use your low body. 
and let it go. Yes, easy, easy. That's good. Yep. But still, I think you can move your pelvis more, particularly this way, particularly this way here. Okay. Doing the back swing. Yeah. And instead of, instead of uh, moving your upper, upper body, yeah. this way, yeah. this way, try to more move this way, this way here. Okay. So that means you will need more motion of the pelvis. So no sway, no swing of the upper body, but yes, use your lower body more. Good. More mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you have to time these well. That means you have to use the body in an orchestrated manner. Okay, so you don't lose the balance. So in order not to lose the balance, you have to actively use the legs. The legs will control everything instead of just uh, swinging here. All right. So if you lose balance, or if, you've, if you're unstable, that means you're not using your, the legs actively. The, the legs can have more flexion, the knees can have more flexion extension. So have a little bit of up and down motion with the rhythmic up and down motion. Okay. Swing, swing, all right. Uh, now let's go back to, uh, let's go to a, a 10 pounder here. So the reason why I use the 15 pounder here is that when you have a heavier one, you have to use your body better. Otherwise uh, the burden will be quite a bit. So it's a bit lighter, yeah. Yeah, this is way better. <laughs> and then since, since you know how to move, then the 10 pounder is okay. Swing, yes, swing, 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 swing. Use the legs actively so that you have to maintain stable uh, motion. Mm -hmm. Now in doing this, because your pattern, the arms are going back here and yeah. then on the way down you slide the pelvis, right? Forever. Yeah. So generally, yeah. you tend to move the pelvis more this way but not that way that much. Uh -huh. So pay attention to uh, the motion of the pelvis in the back swing. It's a good, good motion. Swing, swing. Yeah, the pattern is a lot better now, so. Okay. Now, here is the, here is the idea. So go, uh, stay on the, on the plates. Okay. And then, so as you swing, swing, I will say swing, swing. Swing, then I will start the counting. All right. One, two, three, and swing. Okay. So after three, you'll have a good wind up. And I'll swing. And then swing, yeah. So, okay. Swing, swing. One, two, three, and swing. <laughs> yeah, now. <laughs> now, the, the last wind up, okay. you don't need to bring it too high. Okay. Then what happens is the, the caliber will just drop. Okay. So just about this high, All right. and then let it go. Yeah. Okay, right, this is good. So I will record this. All right. Okay, ready, go. Swing, swing, swing. One, two, three, and swing. Two, swing, swing, swing. One, two, three, and swing. Yeah, so this is the idea. Eh? Try to feel the flow, okay? I've been restricting my leg movement for years, mm. trying not mm. to move mm. my leg very but, much. But it looks pretty good now. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, the, 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 I will uh, graduate you. <laughs> yeah. So the kettlebell swing is done. And then, now here's the medicine ball throw. All right. So we will do the same thing. Uh -huh. As you swing back and uh, forth, uh -huh. I will start the counting one, two, and then after three, three, and throw the the ball. And let the ball go. Yeah. Okay. But initially, you don't have to throw that hard. Yeah. Just use the motion on the way down here right. and then just release it. So I'll be here. Okay, let's go. Swing, swing, 
one, two, three, and throw. Yes. So again, it's all about flow. Yeah. And then this time, keep it a little bit bigger, wind up, okay. and then throw the ball. All right. But no need to intentionally throw the ball like yeah. this. No arm. So use, yeah, using this speed, and then just release it. I feel like I'm slinging it, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Swing, 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 one, two, three, and throw. Swing, swing, one, two, three, and throw. Yeah, perfect. So, uh, now you are working with your legs, yeah. so you're engaging your lower body more. Yeah. <laughs> so after all, it was not that difficult. Then the next is the rope swing. I've seen this. I've seen you do this, but I, I tried to do it, but I, don't, I didn't get it. You know. So with the, your current uh, arm motion, body motion, it'll be hard to uh, do the rope swing correctly. Yeah. So, but the, remember what you did with the kettlebell swing. Yeah. So which color do you prefer? Fine. This one. Gold. Yeah. Yes. So try to swing this freely, but here, what's really important is not about what your body wants uh, wants to uh, mm -hmm. do, but rather the motion of the rope. Okay. You have to have a consistent motion of the rope back and forth here. So you don't really have to swing really hard. Yeah. But if you really work with the, you know. Uh, the rope, yeah. then you will be able to move the rope around your body quite well. And I'm just going to do the same thing on my leg. Basically. Yeah, yeah. So it's, we are basically using using the uh, the rhythm you have developed with the. Whoa! <laughs> no, we need we need a high five here. Yes. So stand on the on those here. But these are actually the force plates. Oh, okay. Normally, when we do the swing analysis, yeah. we use these, and ah, then yeah. you will see how the how much weight, yeah, 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 how much force is acting. Yeah. But the, today we're not doing that. No. But the, yeah, stand on that. Oh, this is really good. Yeah, swing, 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 swing. Okay. Swing, swing, swing. So the overall uh, speed is good. Yeah. Now, let's try to have an equal amount of a turn both ways. Okay. So instead of turning this way a lot, uh -huh. try to turn this both, way both ways. Yeah. No need to swing that hard, so it's go easy, but you have to feel the motion of the rope. Okay. So in general, the way you handle the rope, uh -huh. this is good. This is okay. good. The only thing is the, the lower body posture. You tend to uh, keep uh, the pelvis open, uh -huh. but uh, that can be uh, eventually addressed uh, in the, uh, uh, the, the swing, okay. uh, the, the stage three. Okay. So, uh, but uh, the way you are hand you're handling the rope, this I, is good. I can do it this way. Okay. Yeah, this is good. So, practice that. so what I'll do is I will record from uh, this direction. Okay. The same thing, stand on the force plates, but uh, go easy. You don't have to swing hard, but make it continuous, smooth. Okay, you are strong, but you need uh, smooth motion, continuous motion. Okay. Yep. Go ahead. This is actually very good. Very good, very good. So, I think uh, uh, if we improve the, the overall flow, mm -hmm. and then just the work on uh, the, the, the way you are bringing the club back, I think uh, we'll be able to uh, quickly uh, you know, reprogram your swing. 
So, can I mention one thing to you? Mm -hmm. So I have, I do surgery with a microscope for 40 years. Mm. So I have a cervical spine problem. And when I get to here, mm. I, I feel it, you know? Now I can loosen it up, but that's about, probably that's about it for me. Mm. Otherwise mm. my head mm. is gonna go that way. Mm. That's okay, that's yeah. okay. So uh, in that case, instead of trying to increase the, yeah. the turn, yeah. Rather, what we can do is just uh, uh, improve the flow. The flow. Okay. Yeah. Instead of I just, mean, I can turn more than I than I did in the beginning for yeah, sure. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. What we can do is uh, you can turn your pelvis more. Ah, okay. So uh, currently, what happens is that uh, yeah. you you're, you tend to keep the pelvis open this way, yeah. and then try to turn. Yeah. It's hard. I do it intentionally. That's but, stupid, isn't it? <laughs> but when you turn the pelvis more. Yeah then between the pelvis and shoulders, not much uh, sure. tor you know, torsional yeah. separation. Yeah. So that may be uh, better. So, um, All right. so try to, again, let's, okay. let's try to uh, swing the rope, but this time try to turn your pelvis that way more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah, and then when you when you swing, if your gaze moves, uh -huh. then you lose balance. Yeah. yeah. So if you have to maintain the gaze on a fixed point. So in in dance, particularly when they have to turn a lot, yeah. they have to have a good gaze control. Yeah. And if you just let the gaze just change like this, yeah. then everything is turning around you, yeah. and then you you get dizzy. So uh, try to keep a good uh, right. gaze on the on the tip of the T, perhaps. And easy, no need to swing hard. Just to go easy. Mm. Yes, that's, that's really good. That's really surprisingly good. Okay. Swing. Easy, swing. Yeah, that's a swing. Easy, swing. Yeah, that's good. So uh, I think... Uh, the, the rope swing is good enough, yeah. so we need to uh, just work on the club. Let's have a short break. That'd be good. <laughs> catch, catch breath. Yeah. And then when uh, you work with the club, yeah. so, uh, so far you've used the, the kettlebell, uh -huh. medicine ball, and then the rope. Right. Now it's the club. So whenever you work with the something, they always try to work with it. So instead of try to do whatever your body wants, uh -huh. okay? You have to first feel uh -huh. how heavy it is and how hard it is. Yeah. Obviously, the rope is completely flexible. Right. This one is rigid. Uh -huh. Then they have different physical characteristics. Uh -huh. Then you have to work with this. Uh -huh. So always, you should be ready yeah. or you are willing to, uh, you should be willing to adjust to your motion mm -hmm. to work with these devices. So if you can do that, yeah. that means you have a good mobility system, healthy mobility system, because you can always adjust your, yeah. your motion. Um, so, um, and then particularly when we uh, use the club, so initially, and we need to uh, minimize the number of swings. So uh, today we have to be really careful, yeah. okay? So that you don't get uh, tired uh, quickly. So initially what we'll do is uh, you go really relaxed. Okay. Relax your arms, relax your wrists. Okay. And I try to feel the motion of the clavet. So now, as if uh, you are doing the rope swing, uh -huh. so swing the club back and forth, but relax your arms, and then also re wrist your shoulders. So just to feel, just to feel the motion of the club like this. I'll, I'll show you this. Right. So relax here. Uh -huh. Just to let it go easy, easy. Instead of uh, you know forcing this motion, try to feel. Just the motion of the club head, but really easy. No need to swing fast, okay? Just to try to swing back and forth. And they have a good um, sort of, uh, you know, rapport with the, uh, the, the club. Swing, swing. Aha, so you're using your arms. Here, here you're using arms. Remember, we have to use the whole body. And more than, uh, and then particularly what's, what's happening is um, you are keeping your hands quite up here, uh -huh. high up here. So you almost have a straight alignment here. Uh -huh. and from there, try to just swing, swing with the arm. But instead, 
keep a little bit angle here. Uh -huh. And then really use your wrist here. Okay. Easy, easy wrist motion. Mm -hmm. And if you force this, then it's hard to feel the weight of the club head. Mm -hmm. So let it go easy, nicely. So the, the whole goal is to move the club head without forcing a lot and then and the feel the motion of the clip head. Be easy. Ah, and also, and also, oh, oh, this is something important. No, no, no not that one, but yeah. as you go up, yeah. instead of trying to just bring it down, yeah. wait. Let, Remember, let when, the rope go around me. Yeah, when, when we use the rope, yeah. then you have more time, right? Yeah. So image that uh, you are swinging the rope. Okay. So as you go here, uh -huh. wait until the rope goes around your body. And then start the dancing. So no fighting. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then in doing that, feel the motion of the club head. Oh, it's too fast, it's too fast. Yeah. You, you should be able, you know, you, you should know how to relax. Uh -huh. Of course, when you have to put a lot of effort, then you should be able to do that. But uh, at the same time, also at the same time, you should be able to uh, relax. Okay. So go easy, go easy. Now here, now here. When, when you go, go, go back here, uh -huh. Basically, you are going into this position. Uh -huh. So instead of using the lower body, you just bring it up and then go to this position. But let the lower body move. And also, remember with the kettlebell swing, um, you just let the hands go, right? So in other words, by using the motion of the club and hands, let the club and hands go here instead of try to bring here. Got so it. feel the motion, particularly particularly motion of the hands. Let the, motion, uh, let the hands move away from the target. Mm, still, still the same thing. Still, you're using your arm to bring, bring it up here. Okay. So this is the, the main obstacle we have. Yeah. If we can improve this, then the whole thing will change completely. Okay. okay. So before we start using the step drills, yeah. we need to have a better uh, control here. Okay. So the goal is, instead of uh, just uh, doing the body motion you have done yeah. okay, all, the, all the time for the last, uh, what, uh, 20, Forever. 30 years, yeah. 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 is that Pay attention to the motion of the club. What you, what you need to pre preserve is uh, the club motion. Uh -huh. your, the, your hands has to work with the club. And then if the hands and club wants to go, want to go up here, then you have to let, let them go. Yeah, let them go. Uh -huh. Instead of just, just to feel the motion of the club and the, the hands. No need, to, no, need to, no need to move the body. Just uh, swing back and forth, swing back and forth, and feel the motion of the club head and the hands. And then let the, let the right elbow go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the feel, uh, and the relaxed wrist, so that... Um, okay, now let's, now let's do this, let's do this. Yeah. Let's just try to give a more wrist motion here. Okay. So re really relax. Uh -huh. Instead of try to go here and try to swing like this, let it go all the way here. Uh -huh. Let it go all the way here. Let it go all the way here. Okay. So release your wrist. So you have a really uh, exaggerated uh, wrist motion. Okay. When you have exaggerated wrist motion, you have to adjust your arm motion. Okay. Mm, no need to. No need to <coughs> Throw. Just the easy, easy motion. Now on. Hmm. Okay. Still. Now it's a bit uh, smoother. Yeah. But okay. Yeah, that's good. So uh, then let's work on the wrist. Okay. Currently, what's happening is 
you go up here yeah. and then try to throw the club yeah. like this. So this becomes a flat. Uh -huh. But instead, feel this motion here. Mm. Mm. This motion here. Mm. So when you add this and this motion here, it's called the pronation supination. Yeah. Then what happens is this, this, oh, this motion here. Yeah. So the hands will be lower yeah. and then use the wrist here yeah. by mixing the pronation supination and you also have wrist motion here, yeah. right? So using this, let the clever go instead of here. Let, let it go out all the way. So try to use your to try to use your wrist this way here. This way. So So instead of try to instead of try to push out, yeah. image the whole motion, all the way, continuous motion. So now uh, let me let me sort of uh, <laughs> imitate what you're doing. Okay. So currently your swing is do this. But how about this one? Swing all the way up, bring it back. Swing all the way. So make a continuous motion. Okay. Instead of just to try to throw with your wrist. Mm -mm. And then now, now, okay. So that's uh, no. so here is a, here is a, something you need to pay attention. Okay. Again, assume the setup position in the core of the top. So s come down slowly. Come down slowly. Instead of moving the hands out like this. Mm -hmm. Bring this way. Oh, okay. keep, keep the hands close to your body, relatively. Okay. Then naturally the clip will go. Around you can have an easy rotation here. Okay. Instead of yeah, I've, hands I've go and then try to throw this. Yeah. Okay. So you can keep the hands a bit closer to your body. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. And then have more time up there. Have, have, have more time at the, at the top of X swing, and then let it go. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then even try to throw the club this way here. Club it this way, where I am. Your hands, your hands are moving away too much. <laughs> so this is always really important to see what you're doing. Yeah. Particularly, you have to feel the, the motion of your hands. Uh -huh. Instead of here, yeah. try to throw it out. Mm. So then you'll be able to keep uh, this angle reasonably. All right. So that angle will actually keep a good impact, square impact. So easy, easy, really easy. Really, yes, yes, yes. That's good. Swing, yes. Mm-hmm. And then when you, when you repeat the swing, Charles, when you repeat the swing, you are not really allowing yourself enough time. Okay. What happens is you keep swinging. Okay. You swing. But here, swing and have a good finish. Okay. Bring it back and have reasonable time here. And then also swing and then... Okay. Finish instead of keep swinging. No, keep the hands closer. Keep the hands closer. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> so here's an interesting uh, phenomenon. No, you're doing well. You're better, doing well. Better. Yeah, doing well. No, now, uh, it's going to be hard for me. Now, now, you are, now you are swinging the club square or slightly left, leftward. With that, what happens is uh, this is decreasing. Oh. You know that yeah. uh, you have to swing this way. Yeah. That naturally you adjust your back swing. Yeah. So if you go this way, then this is all you can do, right? Yeah. yeah. So you're adjusting that automatically. Okay. That's the idea. Yeah. So when you have some external goal uh -huh. or focus, the goal, the goal is uh, throwing the club head Over there more this way or slightly leftward, right? Yeah. And then with that, you start reorganizing the motion. That that way, 
automatically you will adjust what you do in the back swing. Yeah. So have a good time after swinging this way, yeah. and then start back swing, yeah. and the horse have a reasonable time, and then start the down swing. Okay. Do not fight, okay? Give more time. Keep the club head moving more this way. Hello? So, oh uh, no, this is okay. So there are, two, when you try to adjust the, the direction this way, okay. there are actually two different strategies. Okay. One is, if you go here, uh -huh. you can let the hands go out yeah. and then turn around this way. So yeah. in other words, if you make the swing plane flatter, yeah. then you will be able to let it go around so you can throw the club that way. Yeah. Or from here, adjusting okay. this position, yeah. adjust this position and then keep the hands close to your body and then let it go. So there are two different ways. Okay. In the previous one, you were trying to bring the club head around. This is okay. That alone will change the way you uh, do hit the ball quite a bit. The worst is this motion here. Yeah. This motion. Yeah. Then you can use this strategy yeah. or go up here and then use this strategy. Okay. Either one, yeah. still you will be to adjust the way you are moving the club head. Okay. Again, only remember that the worst is this one here. Okay. This one here. Yeah. So let me try this. So initially, let's, let's do this. Initially, let's just uh, try to bring the hands more out this way. Mm -hmm. And the overall, try to keep it a bit flatter and then turn around. Okay. That's, that's, that's OK. I, I was going to try this one. <laughs> OK, uh, that's, that's also OK. So see if, uh, see both, try, try both and see how it goes. I, I used to play by just basically lifting mm. the like this, I felt like. Mm. And then hit, hit as hard as I could. And I could hit it for a reason. Easy, easy. No, no need to swing really hard. Okay, so, no, uh, no this is okay. Yeah. I think uh, that was easier. with the re re uh, repeating motion, your motion pattern is getting better. Okay. The only thing is the timing. Yeah. You are not giving enough, enough. time there. <laughs> and the also, you're holding it hard here. So your wrist is uh, really rigid. Yeah. So at the top, let the club head go a bit more. So from this motion, let the clever go more. So drop the clever more, All right. and then give a bit more time, and then start the downswing. No need to rush. No need to rush. Don't try to hit hard. Just go easy. Come up with a smooth motion. Swing, swing. So now let me do this. So I will. I'll just show you the idea here. So go here, put enough motion here, and then swing, swing. So easy, and then easy wrist to feel the motion of the club head instead of try to force it. Okay. So turn the body, turn the shoulders, and then let the arms go with that. Easy, easy. So uh, from the beginning, in your grip here, this is too rigid. Too, like this. Okay. too steep and too rigid. All right. So give it a little bit of angle here. Yeah. Go easy, go easy, easy. So you should be able to use your wrist instead of holding it. So this time, if you cannot relax wrist really, then let's, let's intentionally try to use the wrist. Okay. So toward the end, keep wrist motion here. Okay. Instead of holding it here, yeah. try to intentionally keep wrist the cock. Okay. On the way down also, as you come down here, and try to use your wrist. Okay. Use the wrist more actively. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, use the use wrist more, use the wrist more. Yeah. Mm hmm. 
Yes. The nice thing about using your wrist more mm -hmm. is you can generally have a more stable finish position mm -hmm. when you use your wrist here. Because that means you're not using the whole body. You don't really let it go all the way here. But rather, you're using the wrist, swing, swing, this. Okay, I think that's, that's good. So again, have that feel. Yeah. And that because you have to have a good wrist motion up here, yeah. you cannot rush it down. Yeah, so I was thinking it just gives me a lot more time. Yeah, right yeah, 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 yeah. And then as you uh, let it go using the wrist, then try to bring the hands a bit closer to your body. So uh, let it go here. <laughs> yes, that's, that's really good. Yes. Yes, that's what I want to see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is really good. So normally what happens, uh, what the, the issues I see uh, in those who are going back here, uh -huh. going this way, usually the club hits the ground early. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And then, so what happens is it's dropped here quite a bit and then it hits the, the body of the okay. tee. So I, in order to avoid that, I have to feel like I'm like this, mm -hmm. you know, so much. But now, because you're using your wrist more, yeah. what happens is uh, the wrist will bring the club here, yeah. and then you are turning this way here, so you can have a better control here. So now, as you swing, try to touch the tip of the tee every time you have a downswing. So you don't have to swing really hard, but feel the motion of the club head, okay? And then just to try to touch, touch, touch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Using your wrist more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Good. Very, very good. Oh. Very good. <laughs> I should say. I think Tiger Woods said once he tried to hit himself in the left leg <laughs> when he was playing. It's 99 points. It's 99 points. Yeah. <laughs> 99 out of 100. Yeah. So with this, you had really consistent color yeah, motion. Because I'm paying attention to that spot. Isn't that strange? <laughs> My brain is thinking about that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. if you have a good move pattern, that you don't have to worry about how you move. Uh -huh. All you need to pay attention is where the ball is and uh -huh. just deliver it, deliver it. In doing that now, from now on, one thing you have to always avoid is going far back here, and trying that, to go this yeah. way, trying to go this way here. Yeah. Okay? So use the wrist. That this will give you more time here. Uh -huh. On the way down, also use the wrist and then uh -huh. bring the hands a bit close to your body. Yeah. So let it swing. Right. Okay. Let it go here. So this is the idea.